Hey y'all. So I want to get on here because something really interesting occurred to me this morning. So I was on the way to drop my daughter off at, no, I'm sorry. I was on the way home after dropping my daughter off at preschool. And like, I can't even explain to you the, this understanding or revelation just like dropped in my head from the Holy Spirit. It was really incredible. So um, as I'm pulling into my neighborhood, I started singing in my head almost like shockingly to myself because I haven't watched this movie in ages, the Hocus Pocus song, I put a spell on you. And like, I'm like thinking to myself, like, why am I, why am I singing that? Like, we're not doing Halloween this year. Um, I have totally repented from my infatuation with witches and witchcraft and all of that stuff. I mean, I used to be, and I know that you guys don't know me super well, but just to give you a little background, like I used to love Harry Potter. I loved Harry Potter. I loved Hocus Pocus. I loved Halloween. I loved the spooky, ooky, kooky, whatever, uh, magic world. And I have totally repented from that. Um, I see it for what it is now, which is demonic, um, doctrines of demons, and I have fled from anything and everything surrounding it in my family and I are not participating in anything to do with it. So I was really almost caught off guard why I started singing the song in my head. And for anyone, for anyone who has watched the movie, um, the song, I Put a Spell on You, is when these three witches, um, who have been brought back from the grave, um, are now running amok in modern society on Halloween, trying to kidnap children so that they can take their life essence for their own strength, um, longevity of life, and beauty. And when they're singing the song, they're um, basically mesmerizing and captivating, captivating the parents um, so that they're complacent and they can't do anything. They all kind of fall asleep. And um, the children who are aware of the evil of who these witches are, they can see through the act and they can see through the costumes and they can see through um, the song being showcased and perform the performance of these witches that mesmerize everyone at this Halloween party. Um, they're trying to wake up their parents. They're trying to wake up everyone else saying, don't listen, don't listen to these witches. Um, they're actually putting a spell on you and they would not listen. They would not listen to their own demise, to their own, um, being basically, uh, having the spell put on them. Um, and so I'm like thinking of this and I'm like, why, why did this drop into my head? And guys, I've got a message for you and I believe that it is from the Lord. We are not as Christians and just as parents, but as Christians, we are not to participate glorify, watch, or celebrate witchcraft. And the witchcraft being portrayed in the movie Hocus Pocus is of these witches kidnapping children to suck from them their life essence. This movie is based on real life events. You have Hollywood, you have musicians, you have politicians, you have Satanists who participate in satanic rituals of adrenochrome. That is what this movie is portraying. The kidnapping of children and taking from them their life essence to elongate their own lives and perpetuate a sense of beauty. It's sick. And it's right in front of our faces. 
Additionally, the whole world is so degraded that now witches can walk in public and feel normal, just like the witches from Hocus Pocus. They're, it, everyone has diluted their sense of morality to such an extent that witches can walk around evil, evil, evil can walk around and feel totally normal and at home. And they put a spell on all who watch them because they put on a performance and they've got such unique and authentic attire and it's so mesmerizing and they're all being just completely fooled. All of them, especially as parents. Anyone who is allowing their children to participate in Halloween right now, you're just like the parents in the movie who are allowing yourselves to be mesmerized and have a spell put on you. And your kids are the ones who are going to suffer for it. Plain and simple.